Welcome to Spirit Tribe, Soul Family, Karmic Family. I can use lots of verbs and adjectives to describe us. <laughs> We've been through a lot. We've been to a lot of places. And welcome today to our Waning Gibbous reading. Before you are two decks, the Past Life Oracle cards and the Enchanted Spell Oracle, the Medieval Hedge Witch Magic. Speaking of magic, can you hear the birds outside? They're so happy. Um, also, I'm just going to preface this by saying that Alder and Bubba are both here. Alder's taking a nap. Bubba's chilling out. So um, if you hear any disturbances or whatever, that's what's happening there. Um, I'm feeling this very quiet, not just because they're here. Uh, I feel like a lot of us feel really beat down. We're really tired. We've been going through a lot of different things, all of us individually and together. Um, and together as, you know, as a human race, as being alive on this planet at this time. And, you know, I asked Spirit, how may I serve? What can I do to help? What is my... I'm struggling right now with a lot of things of like where I want to be, what I want to do. Um, I'm changing rapidly and loving it, loving it. But, um, you know, sometimes our minds and our bodies and our hearts aren't always aligned. You know, our heart wants something. So it's already in the future. It refuses to live in, in the present because especially if the present is uncomfortable. And that's what I'm feeling from spirit today is we're using two decks. We're doing um, a pick a reading. So you will find the links in the description box below. I have no idea how many readings we're going to do. I have no, I have nothing, nothing. I haven't pulled anything yet. Those boxes are full and uh, I'm excited. I love when we do these kind of readings because I don't know either. And uh, a lot of times these kind of readings, there's messages in here for me too. So I was feeling kind of not nauseous, but a little nervous, you know, coming into this. And whenever I'm feeling that way, I know it's because I have some medicine that I have to face things of my own. So, um, but I'm in gratitude for it because I'm here with you, you know, and uh, I'm going through this the same time you are. And, you know, as above, so below, none of us are quote unquote better or uh, more talented, more gifted we just do different things. We just open different doorways. Oh, snap. I did not realize that. Spirit's like, did you notice the doorways? So look at and hear how there's like a doorway. But see how there's like an arch here and there's an arch up here as well. But then look at that. Look at this. Holy shit. There's an arch right there. I love that. I love when decks come together when they're not the same, um, you know, designer, artist's translator, whatever you want to call him. Um, I have quite a few of the Priestess Moon's decks, and sometimes I'll use a few of her decks together, and you can feel that common thread throughout them. But then when you put in like something like this with the Enchanted, <laughs> Enchanted Spell Oracle, Medieval Hedge Witch Magic, and the Past Life Oracle, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, lots of controversy around Doreen Virtue and um, yeah, so very interesting. And when I'm reading the book from the past life deck, it has a very like heavy biblical, almost like Christian, like, um, undertone to it. And so there are certain things that are happening right now that I'm not surprised, you know, that they're happening by the way, they're having me like kind of move things around. So it could just be, you're getting a little download of some kind. Anyway, so if you don't want to hear any more messages for the collective and you just want to go to your reading, uh, go and check them out. At this point, you guys know more than I do, right? Because I don't know. It could be two readings. It could be three. It could be four. Um, I have no idea. And they may be short. They may be long. But I will tell you this. They did have me really clean out my phone yesterday. So that is interesting. Uh, I cleaned a lot out, so there's a lot of space on my phone. So if anything gets cut off or things happen, you know, Mercury retrograde. So we're going to talk about that kind of stuff. And if you follow these readings religiously and you, and religiously, I mean that in a loving way and not um, the cryptic kind of creepy way of subliminal messaging of control. Um, but if you look at the dedication you know, some of you guys are really dedicated. You watch every one of these because, you know, some of you, you say to me, I don't miss one because 
I always feel like, or they're like, if I do miss one, I'll go back and watch and I'll be like, oh my gosh, that's what was happening to me at that time. And I missed that one, but that's okay. Cause you're learning a lesson somewhere. You, you know, sometimes, um, I will not watch readers for months, years, and then like they'll pop back into my life recently that happened with Rosology. I remember when Hazel just started, she had, I think maybe, I think when I found her, she had around three, 3,400 or 4,000. I just remember a three and I remember a four, but it was somewhere in those numbers. So when your numbers are, are you know, that low, uh, not many people comment. So when people do comment, you gain a rapport with them. And I remember when Hazel got to a point where she was so big that I just happened to comment on something and she was like oh my gosh she's like hey girl like what's going on and and uh and I was like I'm so proud of you I'm like this is your destiny I'm like that's awesome you know blah 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 um but then I stopped following Hazel for a long time and now just recently she's been popping back in my orbit and I watched this reading the other day and it was so powerful it was so spot on and I loved it and then I remembered why I really don't like listening to her and it's because I fall asleep every time which is good and I'm subliminally getting them in my subconscious but I miss her so I get kind of sad because I'm listening and then it's just and I hear a voice and I'm like oh she's so amazing I'm like she's so awesome and then I'm like <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh man, but I know that I got the messages, right? Um, but you know, we're all here just as messengers for each other. We're all looking out for each other. I mean, look at this. We've got a divine masculine and the divine feminine, both like, you know, supporting each other here in front of this tree. We also have a sword, which is air. So I was really drawn to that and the dragonfly. So the dragonfly has been coming up in a lot of our readings, um, Bubba, hold on one second. Here, you can go on there now. Oh, man, I wish I hadn't paused it now. Oh, when I looked down, it was 706, Ooh, which is also the number 13. But it was seven, you know, semicolon six. So it could be seven may mean something to you or six life path number, angel number could be 76. Um, maybe you need to get gas, <laughs> you know, whatever. Anyway, but uh, Bubba was getting on this chair and I hadn't covered it yet because I looked like she was comfortable somewhere else. And when I asked her to politely move so I can put it down, you can come back now, Bubba. You can come back this way if you want. Anyway, she was like, yeah. And she walked in in front of the video and I was like, oh man, I missed it. But that would have been funny. Anyway, I'm sorry. You know, second for you, seconds for you, uh, minutes for me dealing with my household. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for hanging in there, by the way. I know a lot of you guys have been dealing with me and my life. Some people they follow me and then they unfollow me. I don't know why, but I have had people say, you know, you need a more professional setup or, you know, you talk too much about your personal life and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm not a Zoltar machine. I am a person going through the same experiences you are through my own lens, through my own life. And you know, I think it's um, interesting when people don't want to know anything about the reader or they don't want to know anything about that person. That is why I started Lula's Life, though, because I do know that um, I like to have fun and all that. And some people are here just for the spirit work. And that's why Spirit had me build this channel off of Lula's Labyrinth, because so many people uh, stayed with, when I switched over to the magical medium. And I had a really strong feeling um, that we were you know, kind of cleansing the energy, cleansing the tribe, uh, so to speak, because, you know, if people are just like in it for the money kind of thing, I'm just in it for the money, or I'm just in it for this. I'm just in it for the accolades. I'm just in it for the rewards. You know, you may, uh, manifest that into your life and make that happen, but it is not going to make you happy. It's going to be instant gratification. And then you're going to be wondering why you're so miserable. It's like, why am I miserable? Why am I feeling this way? You know, and um, I'm getting this vibe from spirit that for some of you, um, it's because you're empty because you're not doing your path. You're not doing what you came here to do. So you feel empty. I'm hearing emptiness. Like you feel empty. Ooh, I just got the chills. So um, it's probably because you're stuck in the past. And we're going to get into these on each of the reading. So today we're uh, talking about reflect and release. And I don't remember what we were talking about before we were interrupted with Baba. So it'll either come back around or it won't, or it'll come back in a reading, whatever. Um, 
but I want to specifically ask you to embrace this Mercury retrograde. Right now in real time, it is the 8th moon day. Okay, it's on a moon day. We are May 8th, 2023. So let's add that up. So 5 and 8 is 13. Then we have uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh, it's a two day. Interesting. Ooh, it's a two day because it's the number two. Oh, so it comes out to 20. But if you take away the zero, it's a two day. And look at, we're using two decks. But also zero has significance in angel numbers. So please research two and zero separately or 20 together, whichever feels good to you. Um, the number 13 is about the goddess, the divine feminine. But my main job here is to pass on wisdom and teach those that want to learn. Most people who are here are not just here for the readings and the bells and whistles. They're here to learn. And they're not just learning from my own past life or experiences. I've lived five decades now on earth at this time in the big picture. That's a blink of an eye. I can tell you from personal experience, when your family, when your old, when your elders say to you, take it slow, enjoy it because it goes by faster than you think, they're not kidding. And we, you know, it's okay when we're young, we think we're invincible, all these things, but um, we are in a new world where we need to realize that every moment, every single solitary day is precious. And it is a gift. And that's why they call it the present. And the past is where our lessons lie, but also joy, because we have lessons in joy, just like we have lessons, you know, right? If you, something's telling you to do that thing and you're like, oh, I don't know. And it's really outside your comfort zone, but something's telling you to do it and you do it. And it's like a huge payoff. And you're like, why did I wait so long to do this? You know, um, you know, there's that form of it. But then there's also where we make the mistake of, and mistakes are meant to be made because we learn from them. So I say that with love, um, but we make a choice. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. We make a choice that we know probably isn't going to be in our greatest and highest good, but it's going to feel really good in that moment. And you insert your own story here, <laughs> pun intended. Um, anyway, I don't want to get too dirty here, um, but you know what I mean? It's like, but everything. Ooh, sorry about that. Reason 785 why I know spirit's bringing us uh, to a place of quiet because whoo, I cannot handle that. It's been driving me a little crazy lately. Um, all these interruptions and these moments, but you know what? We have to bounce back because it stirs up stuff. When we get upset about something in our present, it stirs up things from our past. Did you ever notice that? But it stirs up the things in our past that we've covered up, that we've shoved in a closet, <laughs> that we're like, yeah, I'm going to put this here for right now because I really can't do this right now. Also, I saw the angel number 306, also 36, and it could be an age, and three and six is nine. And nine tells us that we're almost there. Most of us are so close to the finish line, we can smell it, we can taste it, we feel it. We feel it. We feel it in our blood. We feel it in our bones, right? Like in that darkness in our soul, we feel it. We know something is coming. We don't know exactly what it is, but we feel it. We know the new earth is here, but it's hard to trust it, right? It's hard to trust it. Especially, I mean, let me tell you, I've been at a few things in my life for those five decades and things haven't happened. So, you know, I, I think to myself, well, wh why am I going to invest any more time and energy into that? It's never going to happen. If it hasn't happened now, it's never going to happen. Bullshit. Bullshit. Can I tell you, when I went back to college to be a fashion designer, one of the most inspiring moments of my time there was when... I met this woman in my class who was 65. She was retired. She took, I don't even think she took a full year. She retired and um, she was bored. And she's like, I have to do something. I think she did some major, like some big job or something. And I was going to school in Chicago, downtown in the city. And I believe she was local. And long story short, she just said to her husband, I can't sit around here and do nothing. I'll go crazy. I need to do something. And he's like, well, what have you always wanted to do? And she would make clothes as like a pastime. Like she learned how to sew when she was like younger. And 
she went back to school to be a designer at 65. And I found that so admirable, so commendable. And I was like, man, because I was 38, 37, 37, I think, somewhere in there. And I felt old. One of my professors was 32. <laughs> and now it was her first, you know, real job as a professor. Like she'd worked in, in other, like, you know, I think she worked in a high school or something a home ec teacher or something. But then she became a sewing teacher and that was always her goal. She wanted to like work as, you know, uh, a sewing professor in a, in a school, a college, not just high school. She wanted something more. See, we all have different dreams. We all have different aspirations. So don't give up, you know? And some of you, I just heard from Spirit, don't quit your day job if you are feeling... Now, this isn't for everybody. This might just be for one person. There are many people who watch these. And when they're saying that, they're saying not yet. Some of you are really close. Like maybe you're close to saving or, you know what I mean? There's something where you are that you're really close. And Spirit's like, ride that wave. You're still there for a reason. We would have pulled you out by now. You'll know it. I feel like for some of you, it's between the next six to eight months. I feel like by this time next year, oh, when I looked down, it was 16, 20 um, angel number, which is also six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, the number nine again. Right. Um, and also it's funny because my phone's on military time. So that always reminds me of 420. So it could even be for some of you, like maybe you work with cannabis or you want to work with cannabis, or maybe it's something you want to, you know, start your own business. Maybe you started working at like something like that as a bud tender, or maybe you're doing things with like mushrooms or psychedelics or things where you're healing people. And you're like, I think I want to get into Chinese medicine. They're like, do it, do it. You know what I mean? Just make sure that you're like, ask yourself what you're doing, right? Like, do you really need to go to a university or a school? Um, or is it something you can learn online and go and get certified? You know, there's a lot of ways to do it. So even for some of you who don't have the money for school yet, maybe this is a sign from spirit to start studying online. Also, I'm hearing for some of you, you spend way too much time on social media and fucking around when you could be doing the thing that you actually love and spending time on that. Ooh, ouch, ouch, that one. I felt that one. <laughs> I felt that one. I can always tell because, you know, spirit will send me on like these little spiritual goose chases um, for all different reasons. And I follow the breadcrumbs and then I'll be like, oh, wow, or that just happened. Or like, I'll have this aha moment, right? And the light turns on and I'm like, holy shit, like... But then um, also there are times where I can tell like my phone like will just like turn off by itself or whatever. And I know that that's my higher self saying like you're done, you know, whatever. And so if you are really pushing hard in this Mercury retrograde or if you have been pushing hard in this Mercury retrograde and things have been happening like that where, you know, you know, God forbid, goddess forbid, you got to, you know, a flat tire or whatever, but it's like there was something inside of you that told you not to go that way. But at the same time, it was good because it kind of slowed you down because you needed that. You needed to slow down a little bit, you know? So we are going to work with, we are working today with the reflect and release energy. So as you can see in this conversation and sharing of wisdom of my journeys, um, we are in that energy of looking back at it, seeing what it did, what it was, and then, you know, being grateful for what it is and releasing it. So we want to look at the past, but then we want to let go of the things. And we're going to, with the help of the Enchanted Spell Oracle, they're going to help guide us on whatever path we need. And that's why I feel like we're spreading out into um, particular readings, because I feel like you guys need some messages. I've been getting a lot of downloads from you guys. And thank you for the prayers and the support, um, especially for those of you who are my really close, tight-knit squad. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, I sent you a personal video. You know what I'm talking about. So thank you so much for the support. The rest of you, I promise I'm going to share more with you as things reveal themselves. But right now, um, I am also in the flow of let go, which is our title today. Oh, I know what I was starting to say to you guys before that happened with Baba. Um, there has been that song and I'll put a picture of it again in the community post today, um, or whenever I post this, whenever this posts, uh, of that, that picture of the house where we once stood. You guys know that song keeps coming up for us. So I asked spirit right before I started this, what was our theme? 
And then um, I was listening to this music and I was really feeling the music as I was building the beautiful altar for us. And then I looked at the title and it said the flow of let go. And I was like, oh, how perfect for reflect and release. Like I love when spirit does this. It's also the sixth moon phase. So we've been getting things with three, sixes and nines. So that might be coming up for you too. Um, it could be that you're born because um, six, the interesting thing is three, six, nine, 12. It's interesting how that flow of numbers three can flow and be you know, um, what do they call it? Like a positive, not a positive and a negative, but you know, you know what, I, with the numbers where it's like, there's two, three, four, five, um, the uneven, uneven numbers, right? Like the non divisible, you know, like you can't really divide five unless you cut it, you know, two and a half, right? But you can divide six and half and you get three and three, or you can divide six and two, four, six. So I'm getting this vibe that some of you really like go in the flow and the fray of the universe, you know? So it, it's like, you've got, it doesn't matter if you're three or a six or a nine, cause that's the flow of the numbers. That's the most beautiful, right? I mean, I don't know if you guys are getting where I'm going with here. Spirit, help me to say it better. If you're following me, you know what I'm trying to say is basically it's like we have three, which is an uneven number, and then we have six, which is an even number. Then we have nine, which is an, an uneven number. Then we have 12, which is an even number, right? So, you, it, But only those numbers that you can't divide can divide themselves, except for three, unless you divide it into three ones. And so there's something going on with you guys with numerology not everybody this is going to be everybody um it could be angel numbers but just like numbers are like just beating the crap out of you everywhere you look it's they're everywhere it doesn't matter if it's on a digital clock it's on a license plate it's like whatever where you're like what the fuck you're like what is happening um one of our tribe members zoe 17 is like her number and you guys i love that too zoe and i were talking about this before 17 is actually the number eight and today is the number eight and eight is about infinity and it's about we are always ever learning, ever growing, but we must reflect on what is not working in our lives and release it so that we can live in the flow of let go. Because where we once stood, where we once stood, what does that say? Once in the past, where we once stood. With that being said, oh, and I looked down to 2233, another angel number. I am going to jump into these readings. I'm very, 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 very excited to see what they have to say. And we are just going to ask spirit what it is that you need to uh, reflect on and what you need to release. You may be drawn to, to one, two. I don't even know how many they're going to be. There may only be two. There may be three, maybe five. I don't know. Um, but whatever one you're drawn to, uh, use your pendulum if you need to. And, um, you know, you can, if there's more than one, then there's more than one. And maybe that just means you have a lot of things that you need to let go of and release. And sometimes if you guys notice, if you read, uh, if you watch more than one reading, you'll see that there's tends to be a common thread throughout them anyway, you know, an underlying underpinning, so to speak of things that our tribe are going through learning and, um, growing from. So I love you so much. And if you would like to book time with me, you can email me magicalmedium at gmail.com. It's in my about section. There are also links there if you'd like to contribute to any work that I do on this channel or any work out into the universe. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you over at your reading. Blessed be. Oh, love you.